Toyota doesn't sell their rugged and capable Land Cruiser in Canada. You can get one south of the border, though. What we do get is a Lexus based on the Land Cruiser platform. It's an ultra premium SUV with all the toys you'd expect from a Lexus, but still retains the ruggedness of the Land Cruiser. This is the Lexus LX570. It has more power, more luxury touches, but it's cheaper than the outgoing model. The previous version, called the LX470, was $101,400. So what they've done is they've shaved off almost $17,000. It's now $84,600, but it's still over $10,000 more than you can get one in the United States. The satin finish on the large 20-inch wheels make a statement, bold yet elegant. That's a good description of the whole truck, really. Lexus calls their styling philosophy L Finesse, or Lexus Finesse. The new front styling is similar to the flagship LS470 sedan with oversized lights and chrome grille. The LX570 features retractable side mirrors, large illuminated running boards, plus a height-adjustable suspension that can be lowered to help passengers gain access. At the back, the hatch splits with a tailgate on the bottom and the glass lifts for loading small objects. The cargo area still features the fold and side flip third row of seats, which is surprising in this era of fold flat seating. Even though the seats fold and retract electronically, when the seats are put back into place, the seat backs have to be lifted manually. Compare this to, say, the GL from Mercedes with full power seats, and this is an inconvenience. Plus, the power folding option is only in a $10,300 ultra premium package, not to mention the seats stored on the side steel cargo capacity. The interior of this truck is first class. It's what you would expect from Lexus, first rate materials. When you go for that ultra premium package, you get even softer leather seats and the unique color of the wood on the inside here. The steering wheel is power, tilt and telescopic, what you'd expect at this price, but it's the placement of the pod behind. It doesn't matter where you put the steering wheel or the seat, you can still see everything. Now, speaking of the steering wheel, it's not offered with a heated steering wheel, which is a real no-no at this price point because somebody coming out of an X5 or a GL Mercedes and wanting to get into this vehicle, that's something they'd really miss. There is an auxiliary jack, cooler in the center armrest that keeps things very cold, heated front and second row seats, a killer Mark Levinson stereo, a flat floor for the second row for easy access, four-zone climate control, big comfy seats, and an air of luxury all around. The LX570 has a 5.7 liter V8 with a huge increase in power. It has 383 horsepower. That's up 110 horsepower from the outgoing LX470 and a big jump in torque too. 404 pound-feet of torque. That's up 75 pound-feet of torque. All this power is matched to a new six-speed automatic that provides sports car-like acceleration and a towing capacity of 8,500 pounds. The LX570 is big, powerful, and capable. In the center console here, there's a whole slew of buttons to adjust the suspension. The air ride system can be raised for off-road or snowy conditions and lowered for easy entry into the truck. At highway speeds, the system lowers the LX automatically for better on-road handling. There are settings for the suspension firmness. I preferred the sports setting as the normal and comfort modes make this big rig feel roly-poly in the corners. The LX also has a crawl mode with three speed settings. When activated, the system will stay at a steady 1, 3 or 5 kilometers an hour for crawling up or down tough terrain or for low speed towing maneuvers. The LX also features a full-time four-wheel drive system with limited slip differential. The steering is a progressive rate rack and pinion design for better handling at all speeds. Okay, what I don't like, actually I should say what drives me nuts, it's really frustrating. The center screen in the vehicle gives you navigation, of course, it also gives you radio readout, and it also has a system of cameras for parking this vehicle, but it's the way they work, it just drives me nuts. The LX570 has an amazing camera system. There's a camera in the front grille and also underneath the side view mirror. And when you drive under 12 kilometers an hour with the system activated, it shows it in the center readout. The system is useful, but I wish that it didn't come on every time the vehicle slowed. You can, however, override it and switch it off. 
The second and most annoying thing is that even when I ask the readout to remain on the radio page and not revert back to another screen, after I put the vehicle in reverse, then back into drive, the backup camera is replaced by another readout, even when I ask the system not to. This means that the driver has to repeatedly push the audio button to get the proper readout. Now, I might have missed something along the way, but it isn't intuitive. This LX570 does give buyers the Lexus experience. The same kind of feeling you would get in their full-size luxury flagship sedan, you also get in a full-size luxury SUV. It just feels well-made. The materials are absolutely first-rate. It's smooth, it's quiet. And one criticism of Lexus has been that they give you a kind of a removed driving experience. You don't get a lot of input from the road, through the steering wheel, through the seat of your pants, especially with this pneumatic air suspension. It does have a floaty feel over the road, but if you like that, if you like a big luxury barge, this one will not disappoint. Now, the LX570 is slightly bigger than the outgoing model. It has more refined styling, an opulent interior, beautiful V8 engine, and, of course, the reputation for quality that comes with the Lexus brand. What's interesting, when they designed this vehicle, they designed it for a worldwide market. They didn't fine-tune it for each area. Now, when you look at this vehicle, you can probably tell many of them are going to go to the Middle East with things like a cooler in the center, armrest, and no heated steering wheel. But in North America, we'd like to have a heated steering wheel. They've also dropped the price right into the thick of the premium SUV range. It's not sitting at the top end anymore. We'll see if they sell more of these new LX vehicles because the outgoing model, they only sold about 100 or so in Canada. For complete specs, go to our website at drivingtelevision.com.